This time of year has really got me reminiscing about the calm before the storm in my life. The calm being uh, before I started YouTube and the storm being May 15th. 2017 it's super cold out very cloudy and you know it's gonna snow but you just don't know when and a major contributor to the calm in my life were the people who influenced me on youtube the youtubers that i watched now you wouldn't be able to tell this but the smith plays actually influenced me on youtube so much back in january of 2016 i used to download the smith plays podcast on my th phone through this now non-existing website Site called youtube to mp3.com and so i would download his podcast and i would go outside on the street near where i'd live and for around 30 minutes to an hour i would just walk back and forth on that street listening to his podcast that was one of the most enjoyable times of my life the reason why this influenced me so much was because it gave me so much inspiration to keep on going to reach this goal of doing youtube because since 2010 and i was eight years old in 2010 I wanted to do YouTube. That's a huge gap to be dreaming of doing something but never doing it. But somehow I still got to the point where I did it after seven years of dreaming to do it. But while listening to these podcasts, I would think of all the ideas I would do when I finally created my YouTube channel. I think about, oh, I'm going to I'm going to stream this on VO3. I'm going to do this challenge that I made up that nobody else has done before. It's going to do so well. I'm going to build this awesome community there's a lot of ideas that i never ended up doing but a lot of ideas that i had sprouted from these late night walking sessions of just listening to the smith plays while it was snowing i was never a huge fan of the smith plays actual content of his videos but when he was streaming and doing those podcasts i gobbled that content up it was unique there wasn't ever any other zombies youtuber doing a podcast that I know of. And at that point in my life, I've never seen a podcast before. Also, it showed the true colors of a YouTuber behind the videos. It would show this deep personal side of the YouTuber that you don't get to experience with a lot of these YouTubers. There's a lot of YouTubers out there who just pump out content and you never see the person they are. And sure, the person that you see through the videos is that person, but it's just an extension of that person. It's not like having a conversation with that person because you can never communicate with him through just comments. You would never be able to get to know that person, but you were able to establish some sort of relationship with the YouTuber through this podcast, even though, you know, he definitely never knew about your existence at all. But seeing this part of YouTube or a YouTuber made me so excited to do YouTube because I couldn't wait to have that community and I couldn't wait to establish a connection like that with the people who watch me. I couldn't wait to actually make friendships with the people who watch me and respond to comments and talk to them through Discord. I was so excited for that. Now we're gonna back up a little bit by a few years, four specifically, to 2012 and this is captain sparkles this dude inspired me so much in 2012 i was in fifth grade i think in the previous year my friend ian introduced me to minecraft and then of course when you get into a new game you're gonna be watching all these youtubers play the game but for me that was specifically captain sparkles i remember though that ian and i at lunchtime we would go to the library we'd ask the lunch monitor if we could go to the library and they used to say yeah because they think you're getting a book or working on homework but no guess what ian and i were doing we we're going onto the computers going onto youtube we were looking up captain sparkle survival series and watching an episode every single day up until modded survival and this was one of the most special times of my life because at this point youtube was established in 2012 youtube was a real thing drove my passion even more to one day be able to start my own youtube channel channel even as what the 10 year old i was at the time we were just weird little dorks watching captain sparkles in the computer lab and we would click off really fast when the librarian came over that is why i'm a really good osu player also ian and i used to eat barbecue sauce packets behind the bookshelves because it was not allowed to eat in the library but for some reason, but we didn't want to leave the library because we were watching Captain Sparkles. So we decided to eat the barbecue sauce packets behind the bookshelves. Crazy times, man. 
There was so much of my life though that has been the calm up to the point of me starting my YouTube channel. And I can't deny how special people influence me. Now there's a lot of other YouTubers that influence me. I just wanted to talk about the two main ones who really drove me to still keeping on track to doing YouTube now where I am today. And it's really easy to say that the storm is no longer going that the storm only lasted like the first year of you doing YouTube. But just because it's calm right now doesn't mean there's going to be another raging storm soon. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.